Day 34 of the shutdown and still no end in sight. The political deadlock took yet another twist when House Speaker Nancy Pelosi delivered on her promise to cancel Donald Trump's State of the Union address. We said very clearly from the start, uh, when I wrote to him the second time to say, since government is shut down, we do not, let's, let's work together on a mutually agreeable date and we can welcome you to the Capitol to get rid of the State of the Union address. Predictably, the reaction from the White House was one of anger. Trump has repeatedly said that he will address the country in one way or the other. In his response to Pelosi, he said the Democrat leader was a disgrace. The State of the Union speech has been uh, cancelled by Nancy Pelosi because she doesn't want to hear the truth. She doesn't want the American public to hear what's going on. So Nancy Pelosi, knowing these facts and knowing it's something that she can't win, that she just went out and said, let's cancel for the first time in the history of our country. Let's cancel the State of the Union address. And it's a disgrace. Far from the heights of politics, the situation on the ground continues to worsen. Close to 800,000 federal workers are still without pay, struggling to make ends meet. The shutdown is also affecting museums, airports, parks and rubbish collection. With two rival offers to end the shutdown on the table, the situation is now a very real standoff as each side waits for the other to break.